Hey, welcome back to Open. You know, we always invite you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at BronxNet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too, at Rina Valentin. All right, now, you see this little furry friend here? Because, you know, every dog needs grooming. And our next guest is all about giving her furry clients the personalized attention and care needed to look their very best. So with 12 years of grooming experience under her belt, she's been able to capture the eyes of celebrities such as Teresa Judis, is that how you say her name, from Housewives of New Jersey, and Shonda Freeman, and Madalena Castano of TLC's Cake Boss. And now she's here to tell us more about her journey towards her pet grooming business. Please welcome Ashley and and who Harmony. do we have here? Harmony. Harmony. Yes. Harmony. Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. Okay, so uh, she kind of mm -hmm. is making her. Yeah, we're just gonna pull a little bit there. All right. Sure. So hello. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the matching outfits, oh, kind of sorta. Is that on purpose? It is on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I understand that um, you actually studied in China. I did, I did. It was an amazing experience, China and Korea. And so, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the grooming all business right. and why you chose to go all the way out there to study grooming. Well. In Asia, they're actually the best of the best in the grooming industry. Um, and I, I'm working on self-mastering. I thought it was very important. I love my pups. So I want to give them the best of the best. So I felt it necessary to travel all the way across the world to um, learn how they groom and their technique and their ways and <laughs> spoil them when I come back. So it's interesting, right? Because you would think, like, it's like, oh, well, what is there to learn about grooming? Like, how difficult of uh, development is that? And so that, I, I'm assuming it, it's, it has to do with being able to have a connection to the absolutely, animals. Absolutely, absolutely. The connection with your pups on the table is the most important. They have to trust you. They have to know that they're in good hands, they're okay. And that's how you're able to achieve those glamorous looks that we get. I love the, the, the name, too, Diamonds in the Ruffs. Oh, thank you, Missy. Ruff, Ruffs, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So let's talk about Harmony here and what kind of grooming she would need so that people can understand, okay. I guess, the different styles, different dogs, different breeds. Okay, so Harm is a Morky. She's a Maltese-Yorkie mix. Uh, I like her longer. We, we're pretty fashionable. We like to switch up our styles. Sometimes she grows out for the summer. Uh, the winter time, I like to leave her legs a little bit fuller and cut her body down short. She just, you know, she has a new style every time she comes in. So, yeah, I like changing it. You like changing her like up changing according her to up. season. Look at this. She's got yeah. this cute little, what is this, a jacket? With it's a little bow. dress with a bow. We a have to dress. match. We have to match. We okay, to so match. I, how did you become the uh, grooming groomer for celebrity pets? How did that happen? I have my own little um, spice with grooming, and a lot of my customers, they're very interested in the unique styles that I give to each dog. I base my styles off of the personality of my pups as opposed to a standard groom. So basically, so for example, if I have a Maltese and she has a cute beady nose and a short face, I'd rather leave her face fuller. I'll figure out a different style to do with the body. And that's one thing my clients love about me. They never know what they want to do. They're just like, do whatever you think looks best. So that's, that's what they love. Oh my gosh, I'm yeah. excited because <laughs> I don't have a, a dog or any pets. Well, I have fish, but I just love knowing that there's somebody out there who's ex exercising artistry, yes. catering to pets, yes. to animals that uh, can't necessarily communicate what they want as a hairstyle, but that you're kind of letting them feel like they yeah. have uh, choices in different types of hairstyles. Yes, that's so you know cool. they want to look good too. So that's important. We make sure our babies look just as good as we do. Absolutely, <laughs> that's so awesome. Thank so um, if somebody wanted your services, yes, where would they go? You can go onto my Instagram page, Diamonds in the Rough. You can also go to 
um, my Facebook and book online as well, or give me a call at the salon. I can do that also. And so on your Instagram page, you have images of like all the different studs, yes, different yes, doggies, yes, all that yes. stuff. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop to hairstyling needs. <laughs> yes, yes. And it gives people inspiration on an idea that they would like to have for their dog if they don't already have one yet. Right. And so do you have a preference of uh, dog uh, sizes or I'm just asking you as a person, right? Because a lot of people have small dogs, but there are a lot of people who have bigger dogs. And I don't necessarily know that people with bigger dogs go and have their dogs groomed as frequently as smaller dogs. They actually do. They do. Uh, knowledge is very important when it comes to having a pet. And some people think because they're bigger, they don't require as much maintenance. And they do, especially if you have a big furry dog. And I'm a big fan of the big dogs. I love grooming big dogs. I love my small dogs. They're cute, but I like, I like to work. I like to work, and I love seeing the finished results. Absolutely. So in talking about your work, how long does it take you to do, let's say, is it different from a small dog than it is from a, a larger dog? Yes, it's different from the size, the style that I'm doing, the service that I'm doing. If they want the spa package, which is a, a lathered bath with a deep cold conditioner, or if they just want a standard quick bath, or if they want a nose and pad cream to soften it up, I do all of the spa stuff. But it depends. It absolutely depends. Average for a small dog like Harmony to take me maybe 45 minutes straight through. And that's the bath and her haircut. Wow. Yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm like, I want to be a dog being catered by. <laughs> <laughs> it's so the much way, fun. The way you talk about it, you, you can tell it. that you love what I you love do. It. I love it. And that it. makes a world of a difference. Absolutely. And they, they love getting, gl I'm telling you, a lot of my clients, they pick up their pups and they're like, Ashley, what did you do? You know, she acts like she doesn't know me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she, so that's the oh most my important gosh, thing. I love it. I love it. And thank you for sharing it with no us. Problem. Yeah, leaving them dogs. Yeah, <laughs> Ashley turns the, the pups into divas. <laughs> exactly. And you guys, if you're interested in Diamonds in the Rough, that's located on 190th Street, Lincoln Park, Jersey. And once again, for more information, you can visit Instagram at Grooming Extraordinaire. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you for having me. And what, well, thank you. Uh, you guys stay tuned because Bobby thank C's you. Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next. <laughs>